Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to study the protocols of the link layer. We have already studied the protocols of application layer, protocols of transport layer and all the protocols of the network layer and in today's video we will study all the protocols of the link layer which is Ethernet, WiMAX, Cellular, Wi-Fi and LRW PAN. So let's start with the very first protocol of the link layer that is LRW PAN. The full form of LRW PAN is low rate wireless personal area networks. It is basically a standard for radio wave communication for what kind of connections? The connections which are low powered and wireless. It is used with some other standards or protocols like the Zigbee, 6 low W PAN and other standards. The 6 low W PAN standard or protocol we have already studied when we were studying the protocols for the network layer. Now let us look at some other standards with which this uh, protocol which is the LRW PAN is embedded. The first one is LP WAN. Now LP WAN here stands for low power wide area networks. So this protocol or this standard basically enables communication across, across distances of 500 meters to over 10 kilometers in some places. So basically this is for low power wide area networks and for such range of networks, um, for such range wide area networks the range is usually between 500 meters to over 10 kilometers. The another standard with which the LRW PAN is embedded is your Bluetooth low energy which is also known by the name of BLE. Now the Bluetooth low energy or BLE dramatically reduces power consumption that is why the name low energy because it consumes less energy. So obviously for that reason it reduces the power consumption and obviously when the power consumption is reduced the cost will also be reduced and hence it meant and it maintains a similar connectivity range as classic Bluetooth. Though it has less power consumption and less cost but there is no effect on the connectivity range it provides the same connectivity range as the classic Bluetooth. It works natively across mobile operating systems and is fast becoming a favorite for consumer electronics because of its low cost and long battery life. Now the another standard that is used in the link layer is your Ymax standard. So the WiMAX standard as we call it the full form of WiMAX standard is wireless interoperability for microwave access. It is a wireless broadband communication technology providing high speed data over a wide area. So basically it is a wireless connection using broadband communication and provides high speed data over a wide area. It is a standard for wireless metropolitan area network. So basically it is a standard or a protocol which is used with WMANs that is the wireless metropolitan area networks. Okay, so the next protocol, another protocol that is used in the link layer is Ethernet. The standard for or the IEEE standard for Ethernet is, is 0.2.3. It is a wired connection but it is very cheap or less expensive as compared to other wired connections and it provides fast data connection and low latency. Latency means the delay in communication. So the uh, delay is very less and there is a faster data connection and it is ex less expensive or it is cheaper as compared to other wired technologies hence it is preferred and is more famous. Another protocol used in the link protocols is the LTE sorry another protocol used in the link layer is the LTE the full form of LTE is long term evolution now it can come in two variants either 2G or 3G. A wireless broadband communication standard for mobile devices and data terminals basically it is a wireless 
um, it is a standard which provides wireless connection for broadband communication and it is usually used for mobile devices and data terminals. It increases the capacity and the speed of the wireless networks. So this is one such standard or protocol which increases the capacity that means the data rate as well as the speed of wireless networks and it supports multicast and broadcast streams. So using this standard you can do both multicast and broadcast streams. Then another or the last protocol of the link layer is the Wi-Fi protocol or the Wi-Fi standard. The IEEE standard for this is 802.11. Now Wi-Fi or 802.11 is a standard which is usually used in homes and offices. In a simple language when I say Wi-Fi the first thing that you are reminded of is the Wi-Fi uh, that you have your at your homes. So usually all the homes and small scale offices nowadays use the Wi-Fi technology to connect to the internet. Although it's an inexpensive option, it is more famous and more popular because everybody can afford it because it is an inexpensive option. That is why nowadays everywhere in homes and small offices you would find a Wi-Fi connection. But it may not suit all scenarios because it's of its limited range. The range of a lim uh, Wi-Fi is very much limited. It is within a small building. So the moment you step out of your house, you will not be connected to the Wi-Fi of your house. So it has a limited range. This is the disadvantage. Hence, for that reason, it does not suit all scenarios. Plus, it has 24 by 7 energy consumption. That is, it needs to be switched on all the time to provide you connectivity. So, these are some cons of Wi-Fi, but the pros are that it provides a hands-on internet connectivity that too at a very cheaper price. So, these were all the protocols of the link layer.